Hey guys, what's up? This is Eric. I'm back on the Unknown Movie Critic. I haven't done a video on this channel in like God knows how long. But I'm back. I've been trying to make myself busy lately. I've been hanging out with friends, been been trying to, to make myself busy after some dramatic stuff that happened in my life lately. So anyways, enough about that. You don't want to hear about that. You, you want to hear about the human centipede. This movie has been getting a lot of hype lately because, because people have said that it's gross, it's twisted. All that shit that you've heard about to the human centipede is true. It is one of the most deranged, one of the sickest movies I have ever seen in my life. Literally. It makes all seven Saw movies put together look like pussies. This movie makes every horror movie ever made look like a pussy. This movie makes Hostel look like a pussy. It makes Saw look like Sesame Street. I am dead fucking serious. If you really want to know the plot to this movie, don't say I didn't warn you. Alright? <clears throat> Two pretty but ditzy American girls are on a road trip through Europe. In Germany, they end up alone at night with a broken car in the woods. They search for help and find a isolated villa. The next day, they, they awaken to find themselves trapped in a terrifying makeshift basement hospital along with a Japanese man. An older German man identifies himself as a retired surgeon specialized in separating Siamese twins. However, these three patients are not about to be separated but joined together in a horrific operation. He plans to be the first person to connect people by their glastic systems. By doing so, he plans to bring his to life his sick lifetime fantasy, the human centipede. Yep, that's the plot. One thing that I have to say about this movie, the actor who played the mad scientist, I'll try to pronounce his name, Dieter Lasser. I hope I pronounced that right, but he did a, a amazing job. He, he has to be one of the greatest horror movie villains I have ever seen in my life. He ranks up there with Hannibal Lecter. He gives a creepy and very chilling performance. It's Oscar worthy. Out of all the actors in this movie, he did the best job. I just cannot believe that some people actually agreed to be in this movie. Another thing that I liked about The Mad Scientist is that he kind of, in a way, reminded me of Bela Lugosi from the old classic Universal horror movies, mainly because the way how he talked. Some of you are going to ask, how does the human centipede work? Alright, if you're really curious, I'll show you. Here's an image I got off the internet. So there's three people, there's the two girls are in the back and the Japanese guys in the front. Yes, their mouths are connected to their ass. So they have to swallow the other person's shit whole. And they have no choice, they have to eat their shit. That part in the movie made me puke. I swear, I have never puked during a movie before. I came this close puking during Jackass 3D, but this movie made me puke. I, no joke, I threw up. If you're gonna watch this movie, you need a barf bag. I made the stupid choice by, by having food when I was watching this movie. Some of you are gonna ask what I was eating. I was eating macaroni and cheese, but it all went bye-bye. One thing that I liked about the, the, the mad scientist in this movie, like when he says that he'll, he's gonna do something, he actually does it. At first, I actually thought that the characters were actually gonna, you know, not be the human centipede, but spoiler alert, they turn into the human centipede. It's really, really disturbing. It's just disturbing how the mad scientist treated it like, like it was a dog. Even though that you really don't get to know the characters who turn into the human centipede, you still feel sorry for them like that they have to go through that. This is instantly the most disturbing movie I have ever seen in my life. And I am not over exaggerating. This is the most disturbing movie I have ever seen in my life. But yet, for, for, you're going to think I'm crazy, but I'm giving a, th a, th a thumbs up. It wasn't great. It wasn't awful. It was good, but I don't recommend it to everyone. If you have a weak stomach, I don't re recommend it. Hell, even I have a strong stomach. I survived Jackass 3D without puking. But, 
This made me puke. This is definitely not a movie for kids, but well, that's kind of, of a no-brainer. One thing that I liked about this movie is that you actually felt a friendship be between the, the two girls from the beginning of the, the movie. I mean, when they turn into the human centipede, like you see them holding hands, and that just shows that they that just shows that there really is a friendship, and they are going like, "No, why us? Why us?" And the ending is probably the most disturbing thing in the whole movie. I'm not giving it away, but if you really want to watch this movie, if you really want to barf, go ahead. Don't say that I didn't warn you. I like how this movie, you know, took the mad scientist concept and did something different with it. Something what we have never seen in a movie before. Name one movie that you've seen that, that is like this. Exactly. I like how this is different from everything else that we're seeing now. The only thing that, that you see now is remakes and sequels. But if you watch this movie and if you come back to me saying that was disgusting, don't say that I didn't warn you. I warned you about this movie. But wait, but that's not all. There's gonna be a human centipede too. And instead of three people in the human centipede, it's gonna be 12 people this time. That is fucked up. And I heard it's gonna be even worse than, than the first one. I want to see the sequel, but yet I don't. I mean, now what's next? Is there gonna be a human snake? You just cut off all their arms and connect people or something? God. Or the human table where you, I, all right, end the review. Good movie, except it's really, really disturbing.